And welcome to the news at 10. We begin tonight on the Capitol Watch, where plans to fund Medicaid expansion are still working their way through the State House. One representative has now introduced a bill that, in part, would enforce a work requirement as part of the expansion plan. That bill has received some backlash from Medicaid supporters, and it goes to a public hearing tomorrow morning. Today, our Misty England spoke with supporters on both sides of the bill to learn more about it. So I guess the question is, Misty, will this added provision save the state money or end up costing more? Well, Ryan, that's a very good question, and it's all part of the ongoing debate about this bill. Another issue at stake here, is this what voters really wanted to pass? Now, as you recall, last November, 61% of Idahoans voted to pass Medicaid expansion. Supporters of the expansion say that they want it without restrictions, so this bill isn't what voters supported. My intention is to try to make sure fiscally it's responsible for the state and still can help people. That's why Representative John Vanderwoude has introduced a bill that would put some requirements to qualify for Medicaid, including a work requirement of 30 hours a week. Vanderwoude says there are several exemptions to the bill, but the standards overall would be similar to what's required to be on food stamps. Vanderwoude says the goal is to help people be less dependent on government programs. It has some accountability, but it also has some places what I think that we can help people get become on their own and help them move up the ladder. But supporters of Medicaid expansion say his bill is basically really irresponsible. The work requirement provision would basically add uh, cost taxpayers millions of dollars, add bureaucratic red tape, create a secondary health care gap, which is the problem we're trying to solve right now with Medicaid expansion. And most importantly, there isn't anything, there is no data that supports work requirements actually work. Olson says it would financially hurt taxpayers because there would be costs to set up the work requirement programs and those in that secondary health gap would still face high health care costs. According to statistics from the Idaho Department of Health and Welfare, between 6,500 and 13,000 people would fall under the work requirement. So it's a really a small percentage of the 91,000 people that are eligible. So what I would ask him is, is if it's only a small percentage, there's a huge price tag on those people. So it's going to cost us millions of dollars and it's going to only affect a small amount of people. To me, that is a complete waste of money. Now, Vander Wouda says even if people don't meet that work requirement at one point in time, they are eligible to get on it or back on it even after two months. Olson says that some people who are considered the working poor have low paying jobs where they simply just don't get enough hours that they need or they don't have enough opportunities for work. So she says this bill would mean their Medicaid status could frequently be changing and be inconsistent. And she says that would do more harm than good. Brian. Well, Missy, it's going to be interesting to see how this thing plays out tomorrow. Absolutely. Once again, uh, this bill goes to a public hearing tomorrow, starting at 8 o'clock in the morning in the Lincoln Auditorium at the Capitol. And if you'd like to give testimony, you need to be there before 8 o'clock to sign up. And I can only imagine there'll be a lot of people signing up for that one.